hi guys welcome to today's video it's been a while since I've done one of these long ones um, I've been sticking to the shorts because they have been easy lately but it's time to get caught up on this and I'm just excited to share what's been actually happening so I hope you stick around and um, enjoy this video this particular day we had dropped off so many donation bags um, and we also had dropped off books for the free little library at the kids elementary school and when we were doing all these drop-offs we saw a few accidents on the road and the babies were very concerned because it was literally also their this one in particular was one closer to our house so we had headed back home to do some more cleaning and that's not always fun because of course I literally just had a baby a couple months not even a couple months uh, like before this so it was like a month and a half before this but yep this is all of our clothes downstairs in the living room um, everything pretty much was in boxes we were trying to figure out what shoes to donate what clothes to donate the beddings literally everything dishes pots and pans we we're trying to minimize because we had to put our things in the storage and we were gonna stay with our sister later on um, because we hadn't found a place yet at this time so we were literally winging it we were walking by faith trusting and praying um, that we would find a place that is suitable for our family and it was stressful it was very stressful here I am trying to pump breastfeed out of the bottle um, it was it was hard I wasn't producing any milk it was and I'm pretty sure it had something to do with the stress that I was under as far as healing moving um, cleaning it was it was a lot my husband had gone back to work three weeks after we had our son I mean financially we needed it so it wasn't a question you know but it was just a lot um, emotionally postpartum I I was really I'm still going through it you know my son is only seven months so it's a lot and literally after this day I gave up I, I gave up I did not want to do it I was drained and you see me here my we're trying to take off I mean take apart our recliner couch and we were throwing them away we had these couches for literally I would say a little over three years so it's time to update and upgrade and my poor kids they were exhausted they were tired my husband would come home from work every day and he would clean and help me with the babies and then of course we had my little sister my baby sister her baby shower did you catch that yeah yeah her brother actually is the one that tripped over her and nobody else got hurt Vera however got a really bad scratch on her face and that was mostly it and of course after the baby shower we came home went right back to packing cleaning sorting throwing away things we didn't need so we got a storage unit and this was the closest one that we could find to our house and also for the price range that we were going for uh, the other bigger ones that we had hoped to get was across town and for a much higher price so we weren't going to do that to ourselves financially but with that we had to throw away our daughter's um, Barbie houses lol houses and her little um, Disney houses and it was it was a bittersweet moment because she didn't want to give it away to anybody she had a really hard time so this was her choice to do this and it, it was sad for us even <laughs> to see this happening but 
honestly we didn't have a choice and here we are <laughs> back at the house trying to clear out the garage and my baby look at her face she got those scratches from the fall during the baby shower and yeah a lot of this was going to the trash that's another house that we forgot here at home and honestly she didn't want to donate it it was very heartbreaking having that discussion with her and here is our house it was a bittersweet moment for me i couldn't even walk up the stairs or take the video for downstairs it was a lot of memories that my kids and my family have made in this house so again we're back at doing laundry at the laundromat and of course life happens we were helping out the community <laughs> in the midst of moving and everything we're helping out the community um during the Anchorage Cops for Community Clothesline Project. So we take all the leftover clothes and then we basically sort them out, store them, and then we put them back out for the community. So we have this whole event. Um, it was an all day event for the Clothesline Project here in Anchorage, Alaska. At the end of it, we take all the clothing and then we host days that we open to provide the same clothing. Basically, we store them so instead of donating them back for people to resell, we get them and we give them out for free. We just organize the day. This is in the front of our shop and our kids, of course, are our helpers. <laughs> it's a family affair. And then right back at laundry just mom duties you know it it was a lot happening all at one time and the hardest thing was to continue to 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 show up with a smile and there's my nephew he made it here safely his mama is safe and she's recovering well during this time i mean as of today the monday december 5th She's actually back at work, so um, she's doing great, and he's doing great. And again, like I said, we were staying with my sister and her family. I cannot thank them enough for how grateful and, and, and just, I, I don't even, I am speechless because I have the greatest village, and my kids and I are so blessed my family and I are so blessed because during this time, the stay at my sister's house, my husband ended up going out of town for work for almost a month and a half. During this whole time when we were at my sister's place, we were applying for places. We were looking for potential houses that could accommodate my family and also my two baby sisters and my newest nephew because we were going to move in together financially to help each other out so it was a lot because of how many people were going to be living there and just other factors that we had to um, put into the application process and everything but i am grateful and thankful and forever blessed with my sister and her family for sharing their home with us because even on the first day of school our babies started the first day of school as we were living under their roof and here are our one high schooler and the three middle schoolers and you know it's so funny because they literally are wearing the same color and we were laughing because they didn't plan it at all they just happened to like <laughs> similar things so my si my nieces and my boys my boys are the ones with the mask and my nieces are on the other end and it's kind of hard because of course they all have long hair but here they are we were dropping them off and they weren't too excited for us to walk them in <laughs> but it's okay i i wanted a moment with them especially my my sixth grader who's brand new to the school so these are our elementary babies uh the last here at the elementary and of course just so happened they were also color coordinated not planned at all they both walked out of the rooms uh dressed like very very similar it was kind of funny right after we the first day of school we moved right after so god is good god is good and he is on time thank you so much for watching i will see you guys next time much love